Hey guys, I'm the Almost Companion and welcome to my Q&A for gaining over 500 subscribers. Woo! Honestly, like I cannot believe I've gained over 500 subscribers and particularly in quite a short period of time. I know in the grand scheme, uh, I know in the grand, grand scheme of YouTube that really means quite nothing compared to other people who have like millions of followers but to me it just means the entire world world because I never expected to get that much subscribers and that much support and it just makes me want to keep doing this because I do really enjoy it and I do really enjoy reading all your comments and that there so I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me everyone who has supported me and a particular shout out to all the reactors who have supported me and just down to all the reactors who just made me feel welcome um, because they have, they really, really have, and it's just so lovely to be part of this nice group. And, um, yeah, shall we get on with the uh, questions? First question is If you were lucky enough to be promoted from the almost companion to full on brand new Doctor Who psychic, where is the first place in time and space you would want to visit first? Well, okay, the first play, I think, the very first thing, if the Doctor asked me to travel with him and be a companion, I think I wouldn't go to a specific place. Travel the TARDIS into deep space, and then just let it drift, and so then I can open the TARDIS doors, and I can look out and I can see deep space, and see all the stars. I want to just either sit on the, by the door, and just look out, at what I want to see is an entire mass of shooting stars, like hundreds and hundreds, like a light show of stars just whizzing across the sky in in space. I think that'll be the first, like just to see space, just to be in the tides, look out at the galaxies, at the stars, and like watching the um sun being born or well, star being born that's what that's what i would do first that that'd be just the very first thing i just want to see if i was just in the toilet with the doctor open the door to see and sit in space and watch the stars and everything fly by i think that image in my head just to be part of it yeah i i would quite like that what is your favourite episode of Series 9? Um, my favourite episode of Series 9 will probably have to be the... Well, everybody... It's, it's everybody's favourite. Um, Heaven Sent. Yeah. It was just such a good episode. Like, one, because you got the Doctor alone. And we haven't seen that in the new series, like... For quite a while, like just a doctor on the episode, and it worked really, really well. It was um, very scary, very well written, brilliantly, brilliantly acted by Peter Capaldi. Like he just, he held the entire episode up, and that's quite a hard thing for an actor to do. So I applaud Peter for that. I mean, it was just a, it was just classic Doctor. It was just very emotional. Had a very scary monster, which legit. It's terrifying, and the fact that you never seen what was underneath the veil, I thought that was brilliant. Um, and of course, the emotional impact of seeing the Doctor grieve over a companion, which I thought was very, very nice because we never really got to see it. Like during the old series when Adric died, you never seen the Doctor grieve over Adric, <laughs> unless you just want to say that the Doctor never really cared for Adric, like most people never did. <laughs> but yeah. It was nice to see the Doctor being vulnerable, being quite frankly terrified, being grieving of a companion, showing how much he needs a companion, but then showing how brave he is and how intelligent he is, and just his pure um, how far the Doctor would go for people that he cares about, and I thought that was very, very touching. And then of course the big cliffhanger of Gallifrey, which has to be one of the best cliffhangers there is, even if some people saw it coming. I didn't, like, I never heard any of the rumours of Gallifrey being back in that episode, so 
that was quite a surprise for me. So yeah, Heaven Sent would have to be overall my favourite series 9. Followed closely by Face the Raven, because it was Clara's last episode and it was very, very emotional. <laughs> Anywhere in time and space, everything that there ever was or ever will be, where would you go? Okay, that's quite similar to the first question, but, but the first question was the first place I'd go to. But overall, where would I go to specifically? Where, what would I like to see? Bar the first thing I would do. Um, it's quite tricky actually, because I haven't actually thought of it. Out of all the places, I'd probably like to go to the past, as like most people would do, because you want to experience history. Um, see, I quite like to meet Van Gogh, because um, he's one of my favourite artists, so he'd be a good place where I'd like to go. I'd like to visit the Victorian times actually because I may not agree with all the values but the aesthetic of that era just to be like walk down the street and see all the horse and carts and all the people in their artifacts and the buildings and the markets I think the aesthetic of the Victorian era, um, era I quite like so I just love to walk through that and be part of that in history I quite like um, just to be in an ordinary street, in an ordinary day, in the past. I think that that would be quite cool. But all, um, but, oh, there's so many places I want to visit, I can't actually pick bloody one. Um, I would love to see, go to an alien planet and look at it in an alien sky, I think. Doesn't, anywhere, like, as long as, uh, just like beautiful looking, so I don't know it's quite friendly, although knowing the doctor you just get into a bunch of trouble. But yeah, any of those really would be where I would go in all of time and space. So yeah. Who, who's your main ship? Oh, okay. Who do I ship with the doctor? Um. Okay, let's go through the canon ones because well, there's only really two, because in the old series I never really had romance between the Doctor and the Pirate Kid. There was Ten and Rose. Um, I didn't really mind them, because I was ten years old at the time, so their relationship, whenever I was watching it, I was just sitting at the TV going, for God's sake, Doctor, can you please just tell Rose that, that you love her? Because you clearly do. I'm ten years old and I can see that. So, um, yeah, that was my experience of their... Um, of their ship was just me shouting at the screen going for god's sake either tell her you love her or kiss her either one um um not really a fan of R uh, river and the doc mainly eleven i think actually the doctor and river's relationship although you probably would, uh, could tell that from my christmas reaction um but main ship it depends what you mean by shipping. Shipping probably is like all the romance, do you, do you ship these people romantically? But um, I always quite liked the relationship between the Doctor and Clara, specifically 12 and Clara. I thought they had such a complex relationship. Um, and particularly with Clara, she really grew as a character with the 12th Doctor rather than the 11th Doctor where she was just a plot device. So I always quite liked their relationship because in many ways it was quite realistic in that if you travel with the Doctor you aren't always going to get along. Um, it was quite nice to see a difference in, t in where they could take the Doctor and, uh, and the Companion's relationship so I always find it quite interesting and um, very fascinating to watch so I liked so if I had to like ship people um, I would possibly ship those two mainly because not just in a not just in like romantically because like with the Doctor and Clara their their relationship is their friendship and the thing is that was highly stressed during the um, series that the Doctor's um, the Doctor's fascination the Doctor's obsession the Doctor's love for this her this this character Clara was shown to be so strong and. Um, 
She wanted he would go to no bounds to save his friend, which I thought was very, very sweet. But I can understand if you just see them as friends, and but I can also understand if you ship them romantically. Um, what did you think of series nine overall? Um, overall, I thought it was a very good um series. Um, I put up there with series eight, not as good as any of the series like series four or series. Series 4, Series 2 or Series 1, uh, I don't think any can get any better than those, but I fairly enjoyed Series 9. How I, how, how I judge well it, it's a good series is how many episodes do you skip whenever you're going through Series 9. <clears throat> One of the things I realised is that how do I um, tell if I hate a series? If I keep skipping most of the episodes, if overall, if I'm only going to watch a few episodes, and there are not many compared to the overall number of the series then I know I hate the series overall but it's not as good um, so yeah um, Hellbent I, I enjoyed bit, enjoyed bits of it and then didn't like all the bits because as much as I love Clara I didn't like how they tampered with her death I think that quite uh, lessened the emotional impact of her death itself. Even though she still technically goes and dies, it's the fact that she lived in between those times for who, go who knows how long. And I think it's just annoying because Martha keeps do doing that with characters that keep dying and then bringing them back to life. It's just not... That's not realistic. <laughs> I think for Doctor Who, I think that it should kill off a companion and the companion should stay dead, I think. And I think and if you honestly get so heartbroken at that, then they, then that's great storytelling. They made you care for a character that gets tragically killed. So yeah. Overall, I thought the series was pretty good. Had a little rough patches in between, but all series have that. But it wasn't by far the worst series. Um, that would be series six. Was the worst. Um. And series seven wasn't actually that great either. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed series eight, which was quite a lot. So channel updates. Um, obviously you know the um, of course my Sherlock reaction got blocked, and that really really annoyed me. So yeah, now so with future reactions, well, for Sherlock reactions only, I'm gonna do them in parts. And each part is going to be under nine minutes long because with the way of copyright claims and blocking, um, because Sherlock's an hour and a half long, uh, trying to edit all that into one video with important parts is quite, um, it's quite fr uh, frustrating and and just very annoying and very time consuming. So for that, I'm going to be doing my Sherlock reactions in parts, and they're going to be going to be quite short and I think I may have to do that with Doctor Who episodes now where I have to keep them under a certain length to deter the videos being blocked in the future because it's not just me, it's all the reactors and I may just have to take a leap from Torture Boy's way of doing them to um, deter the blocking because it is very frustrating and very annoying to us reactors when that happens after all the hard work and then all the views and then all the comments is just blocked. It's so frustrating. Um, other things. I will be do. I want to do anyway. I don't want this a channel be, to be just a reaction channel but I still will continue doing reactions and trailer reactions. They will never stop. But I just want to do more videos that like sketches because like whenever I start YouTube or like the moment I did my first reaction and put it on YouTube, I knew I wanted to do more videos than just reactions because it's just what I want to do. I want to expand what I can do and see how far that can take me because I didn't realise how far I was going to get with just reaction videos and um, I've been pleasantly surprised. So I do want to do different things but that won't affect the reactions because they will still keep coming. I, I, I just want to let you know that I will eventually move on to do other stuff as well and I hope you would enjoy that and hope you enjoy them as just as much as the reactions. Um, I'm hoping to expand more on TV shows 
and all the trailers but I don't want to do too many because that's just too much time editing and I have other work to do because I'm, I'm, I'm currently at university so <clears throat> I don't have as much time as maybe other reactors to react to so many things at uh, so many times because I'm trying to get a degree and constantly spending hours in editing isn't the best thing to do at university. Um, so yeah, but that's just what I want to say on updates anyway for this channel. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'm, it still amazes me that I'm even making this video. So yeah, um, just thank you again for all the lovely support and all the comments and for all the other reactors who made me feel very, very welcome. So yeah, um, I will hopefully see you um, in the next thing I do. Well, will it be a reaction or something else? I'll probably be a reaction. But I've been the Almost Companion and please like, comment and subscribe and peace.